just a disclaimer, the majority of today's vlog will be about urine and peeing because that's been a big part of my life for the last few days and of course I must share that so you all know. So, <clears throat> I've been in the transplant room for two, three days now. I'm no longer sure. Um, let me tell you about my experience thus far. So, um, my drip stand over here, I have now titled The Tower of Power because at one point there was four lines coming off that, three lumens are all in use, and they put a cannula in my arm, and you all know I hate cannulas. And that was for, yeah, we had uh, chemo on one, just hydration on another, antibiotics on another line, and then the campath, which we all love, uh, on another line. So that was rough. Sleeping has been difficult. Um, I think it was the second night here, maybe the first night, um, they gave me a drug which would uh, encourage my bladder to pee. And it did so, uh, delivering four whoppers in about 20 minutes. Um, and then, oh, I just wouldn't stop peeing after that for about, well, up until today, I suppose. Um, I didn't sleep very much that night. Uh, because it felt like every time I closed my eyes I'd have to wake up again to go drag myself and my drip stand oh, not for uh, unplugging all of the plugs on the drip stand and then pressing the mute alarm on each one of the pumps because they keep bleeping if you unplug them um, so we take that to the toilet grab one of these cardboard peeing tube tubs to store the urine, fill one of those up, pop it on the side, get back into bed, try to get to sleep until you're awoken by almost peeing yourself again, so you repeat the process. In the end, I just got the bag of pee pots and just sort of put them like next to my bed, by the, I have a sink uh, by the bed there, so I just, just put them by the sink. That way I didn't have to move the drip stand. Good thinking. So to give you some sort of perspective as to how much pee we're talking here. <clears throat> yesterday, just yesterday alone, I peed out 10 litres of fluid. 10 litres, that's like 10 of these big Lucozade bottles. In fact, that is 10 of those Lucozade bottles. And it was, you know, roughly, it's more than that, but round down. And, you know, the, the kind of, it wasn't even urine at this point that was peeing out, it was basically just water. On like the first day, I sent they made me you know pee into a little cup, send it off to the pee guys. What a great job that is, and uh, they had to like you know analyze my urine or whatever. And these guys, they sent it back saying, "This is water. You sent us water." No, that's that's just what I was peeing out. You don't believe me, drink it. I'm sure it doesn't taste like water. Actually, I wouldn't know. It might. So, 
We've done a lot of peeing. For those of you wondering where all this pee gets stored, it is the face. <laughs> <laughs> Been sick quite a few times as well from the chemo, but uh, we've stopped chemo now, for now. And tomorrow, I'll be starting radiotherapy for four days, and then immediately after that, on the twentieth, we will have the transplant. <laughs> How exciting! So I think that's going to be it for now. So, thank you for listening to me talk about pee. See you later.